stands for David, Mr. Gray, and you're a businessman, right? I'm from New York. I'm relocating in Port Charles. Oh, uh, what kind of business? Antiques. And mm -hmm. frightening women. Luke, this is a final warning. Shut up or you're out. You're not asking the right questions, Captain. I'm still running the show, and I'll be the judge of that. Mr. Gray, would you tell me why you came forward voluntarily? That's simple. I had nothing to hide. In fact, I still don't know why I was being solid. Well, Mr. Spencer here thinks that you had something to do with the disappearance of his wife. That much I've ascertained. But do you have a right to hold me? Well, of course not. I explained to you before. Now, if you'd like an attorney present, we can no, arrange No, that won't it. be necessary. Now, I want you to think a moment before you answer this question. Before the confrontation out there in the lobby with Mr. Spencer, had you ever seen him before? Yes. That's right. Tried to run me down in his car, didn't you? I have no idea what you're talking about. I merely meant that I recognized him from photos in the newspaper. Oh, well, um, what about Laura? Laura? Laura, come on, man, my wife, Laura Spencer. Yes, I recognized her from photos also. Miss Starlies, wasn't she? Yes, she is. Luke, now come on, I'm just about up to here with you. Now just stand there and be quiet. Mr. Gray, Outside of pictures, did you ever have any other contact with Laura Spencer? No, not that I... Wait. Now I remember, I saw her on several flights from New York. There. He admits it. Certainly it's no crime to stare at a beautiful woman. What about the ring? It's a family heirloom. There's nothing unusual about it, except perhaps its priceless value. All right, now let's get back to the uh, car incident. Miss Templeton, are you sure that this is the man you saw try to run down Luke? Once you've seen eyes like that, Captain, you don't forget them. This is ridiculous. I don't even own a car. So you borrowed one, you rented one, you stole one! When did this alleged incident occur? February 26th. February 26th. It was a Friday. Yes, I remember. I was in my antique store all day. Mr. Gray, can you prove it? I have a dozen witnesses. <sighs> very good. He's very good, Captain. Come on, Luke. What about this? Do you recognize this? At the moment, we have some carved ivory in our antique store. But of better quality. I sold some on consignment last week. Well, thank you, Mr. Gray. You've convinced me. I have no more questions. Why did you give a phony address to the airline? I didn't. It was a mistake. Since I always paid cash, I never bothered to change it. Oh, man. You've got all the answers, don't you? You've got all the alibis, all the excuses. You've got everything. I'm telling the truth. You are a liar. Ramsey may not know it, but we know. You're lying and you're not going to get away with it. All right, Luke, just take it easy. Mr. Gray, thanks very much for coming down. You're free to go, and if I were you, I would. Right this way. Wait a second. Do you know any Laura Templeton? Templeton? Yes, she's my sister. No, I'm sorry. I know no one by that name. Good day, gentlemen. Miss. Good day. Thank you, Mr. Gray. Listen to me, both of you. I cannot stand this any longer. As a matter of fact, this is getting us nowhere. We have to... We're just right back where we started. D. Gray is a washout. Are you kidding? You believe this guy? Of course not, but Ramsey is right. We can't go around harassing every private citizen we meet. <clears throat> Robert, am I going deaf? 
Did I hear this woman say that we cannot harass private citizens? Uh, I think she said something like that, yes. Unbelievable, lady! As a journalist, you know very, very well that most of your contemporaries spend most of their time harassing private citizens and ruining private citizens' lives. As a matter of fact, I understood that the only way to get a story was to do anything you needed uh, short of what? Murder? How about a lynching? Isn't that exactly what you wanted to do to David Gray? I am not suggesting a lynching. I am suggesting public flogging, permanent disfigurement. Uh, I can't believe that you don't agree with me. I do agree with you, okay? I would love to smash this guy's face in the pavement. But where will that leave us? Satisfied! It will leave us with nothing. A dead end. She has a point. Shut up, Robert. I will not shut up. Listen, you've been blundering around town all day, screwing up arrangements that we put a lot of time into. Now, this is a partnership, like it or not. Where are my pom-poms? I do so much love group thinking. Always the smart mouth. When in doubt, resort to stupidity. <sighs> I am not in doubt about David Gray, Robert. No one said you were. Then why are we standing around here arguing? We should be in the street following this creep. Won't do any good. How do you know that? Because he's onto us. So what? So he knows we're there. He's not stupid. We need a plan. Plan. A plan. Always with the plan. Look at you. You're ridiculous. You're talking about plans. And look at you. All you are worried about is the first brandy of the day. Now, that's your best idea so far. You join me? <laughs> Certainly. You guys are unbelievable. Well, look, mate. Hey, hey, hey. Look, no one's stopping you. You can go any time you like. I can't do it alone! What was that? Uh, there's an acoustic problem in here. Oh. Well, I said that I, uh... You can't do it alone. I think that's, that's what I said. What yeah. I thought you can't you do it alone. Yeah. Well, you're right. You can't. Because you need us. And we need you. One for all and all for one. They made a movie with that in it once. Yeah, I think it was The Three Musketeers. Mm. Sound familiar? Yeah. Where are my pom-poms? Ah, <sighs> Luke, will you just listen to me? I mean, do you think we bought that stupid story of David Gray's? But he's not leaving us any tracks. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to con him in his own game. And like it or not, that's going to require yet another plan. All right, put that brandy down. Let's get to work. Okay, uh, look, why don't we uh, do it over dinner at Kelly's? Sounds good to me. No, it won't work. Kelly's is closed. It's dollar day at the sports center. Oh, hell, <sighs> dollar day. I was supposed to help out in that. We all were, but first things first. Maybe we should make an appearance. Sounds good. Well, I'll get my coat. Let's go. Yeah, well, Rick and Leslie would understand. They want to know what's going on. Let's go. <laughs> Ago. We've been chasing uh, one David Gray. You're kidding. A very long story. What? 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 Tell us. Oh, oh, I'm sorry we no. missed it. Yeah. Hey, it's all right. But you're talking about so much. What That's happened? more important I want to hear. All right. Well, you know I'm David Gray. Yeah. yeah. That's the guy that Mark claims is following. That's right. Well, Captain Manzi called him into his office. No, he showed up voluntarily. <laughs> Did he know anything about Laura? He claims he doesn't, but I don't believe him. I'm sure that he knows something. And that ring is more than just an alien. I have to film it behind this entire mess. We just... Or why? 